Media libraries are like a storage area for the files you want to host on the internet. In order for it to be accessed by users on the web, the files need to be taken from your hard drive and placed on the server so others can get at them. No one will be able to see your PDF if it's stuck on your desktop on your computer. So let's check out this application. Uh, if you're not here, please select the home icon on the top bar to get back to the Kyoko desktop. Then let's select Media Libraries application. Here we'll see all the media libraries that exist. We create one for every website that's available through the Pages application. For this exercise, uh, let's find the Sandbox Media Library. Might be page 11? Page 11. If we click the green pencil icon to left the name, it will show us what's available in the media library. We have files, images, and slides for the slideshow widget. We can add new folders to the library if we select the plus icon in the top left folder. So let's name our folder test and hit save and close. Uh, then we can select the upload button to upload anything to the UWGB server. Please keep in mind on what you upload. We don't want personal or security information on the web, uh, so keep in mind your responsibilities as a content author. So if we click upload here, navigate to the desktop and upload our sample image. Now that the file is in here, we can view Edit, or even delete the image. The other option here is the update button. Uh, so what this would do is if this image was linked anywhere on the Keneco CMS website and we click update, it would update that image in every instance that it is in. We just have to be sure that it's named sample image and it's all good to go. Uh, for now, I'm just going to delete it because it was a sample image and delete my test folder up here too. The only other option available here is the copy or move function. And those should be pretty self-explanatory the few times you'll need. It's important to know though, if files are moved or renamed in the media library and they're linked somewhere within the pages application, they'll be, you'll have to update them on the website side so they won't break. That's all there really is to know about media libraries. And if you have any additional questions, uh, please let us know at webdev.uw.